Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Project Ascension. Checking out another build guide today. This one's going to be a poison build. So this one's going to be mostly like a rogue. Here's a couple of our talent cards here. We got Festering Wound. This is going to stack up to six times, 2% each for 12%. Uh, Mutilate Criticals, we get extra damage there. Uh, we got some extra crit here, some extra crit, and then we got some energy. This one is a little extra damage with rogue poisons and venom, which we have right down here. And then a little bit of extra on poisons and rogue uh, abilities here with crit. And then we have ability cards. We got mutilate. We need that. Poisons. We need that as well. And venom. Very important. And then we went with the blessing of kings. Other than that, so far, showed all the abilities here. I did a lot of re-rolling. Uh, probably a little over like a hundred or so again. We got pretty much everything. We're missing a couple small things for like PVP gap closers. Charge would have been nice. We got sprint, which too bad. Kick is good. So the main thing about this guy is going to be playing with mutilate. We got poisons here. I usually go crippling and deadly. We also have instant mind numbing. Once you get the poison ability, you actually just get all of them, which is a lot better than it used to be. All kind of show up in here. You don't have to worry about buying them or anything like that. We also got this cool ability, poison bomb, which is just a little AoE bomb that you can throw. But the gist of it is going to be mutilating. Uh, it's going to give you that buff there. Usually I get five combo points with that. I use a dispatch because it does damage and it doesn't take up combo points. Then I usually hit the disembowel, which is another great one. That one's going to be good because it's going to give you some extra damage with mutilate. And then also after that, I'll basically build this back up. I have this cool perk for mongoose bite here. Uh, let's see. I rolled this here. Restores 40 energy. And then your next rogue ability does extra damage. So that one's really sweet if you get two max energy there. So that one's really good if I just run it low anyways. And then we also have the hydro venom. So that's a little bit of like a poisonous bleed. I usually stack those guys up and then I just... Pretty much go and venom all the rest of the way. We have some other things. This piercing cleaver is pretty good. Sometimes you use the crimson tempest for the bleed AoE. We got the shiv, which isn't too bad. The shout if we're getting surrounded. Uh, attack power reducer. Some buffs here and there. Vanish. It doesn't really do a lot other than kind of get out of some CC and stuff sometimes. We also got this poisonous rain, which is really cool. But it's like a channel, but it's, it's pretty strong. So in like a... Uh, mana storm or dungeon that's really good or even like a battleground but basically usually the way i start out is i'll just get up to the enemy i don't have any kind of gap closers i can use sprint but oh this is a tank uh, let's not hit that one uh let's go after this guy i usually get up there i use mutilate a few times and then i try to uh pull this combo points at five I also have pretty much all PvP gear here. It's decked out with the, the Knight Lieutenant's set. And that also gives you the Ravenous buff. So if you're not doing any damage in a while, you get a 10% buff there. We also have this Ready, Set, Go, which if you don't move, you'll get a uh, speed bonus. So I'll build that up. I'll hit the Dispatch for a little bit of damage there. I'll usually do Disembowel because then I'll empower my next couple uh, Mutilates. And then I'll Dispatch again. And then I'll wait for the combo points. And we're going to hit uh, and Venom here. Oh, we don't have any shit. One second, boys. I gotta buff up. All right, boys. We're all buffed up here. We got the poisons. And we also got the ravenous bonus. That's just basically part of the set that we have. Uh, basically, after a little while, you just get some extra damage there. Um, so to start out, we'll get the combo points up. We'll dispatch. We'll disembowel. Get some more combo points here. Depending on how you kind of time it, you might get dispatch again. Or you might not. Sometimes you have to get an extra combo point. We'll hit that. And then basically in Venom after that. That's going to be a pretty beefy drop there. And then you kind of just keep that rotation going. If you don't have the dispatch, do the dispatch again. It's usually only six seconds, so you'll probably have to pop that off every other uh, ability there. And then you just rotate with uh, the old and venom. You can pop this if you're waiting for dispatch and you need some extra man or extra energy there. Uh, we'll hit the uh, venom again. You can always pop in the hydra's venom as well. That one's good because it gives you a little bit of extra poison. Um, pretty much what we're rooting for here is most of the damage we're going to be doing is the poison. Especially because how much different ones we have here. And then with the Envenom, that does a pretty big chunk there. We also have a couple other things. This badge here. We picked this up actually off the auction house. Um, gives you some extra attack power for a little bit. It sacks up to 13 times. So pretty, pretty big chunk there. Mainly just going all agility here. We're pretty much decked out in most of the PvP gear couple little things i think we had to change i think just the bracers here and then this is the weapons uh both have to use daggers for this build because of the needle eight. it's not too bad decent decent amount of damage we'll uh we'll do a little bit of rotation here to see how uh how much we can, how high we can get 
All right, boys, we're sitting between 1400 and 1500. Definitely not one of the stronger classes I've made, but it's pretty cool to see what the poison can do. Uh, if you're fighting anything that's very keen to poison, that'll help. Not a big thing going forward with the uh, new expansions, but neat little uh, build here with the little archetype. And we also have these awesome rogue transmog with these. Uh, I couldn't find any good weapons, so I just threw these little things in. Uh, you could also try with the different poisons if you want to use like the poison rain uh, once in a while or if you want to kind of tie this into something else. I didn't use in my burst at all. I don't really have a lot. But also depending on what else you can get out of the uh, rolls will be a big thing. We got a couple of decent things with some crit, doyle, spec, dagger stuff. A lot of poison stuff which kind of tied in good. Um, extra energy, stuff like that. Uh, we definitely get, got a lot of random stuff that won't really help too much. If we can cap some of these out that would be nice. Um, like this, we don't even have a tame pet, but just, just you do so many rolls and you just can't get rid of everything. So um, overall, it's it's fun to play. I would like to see some chunkier damage. It's more of like a slow tick, especially if you're gonna be fighting like bosses and stuff like that. Um, and if you're in PvP, you can pop down the uh, which one is it? I think it is the mind numbing. That's uh, for casters, uh, the wound poison, so they don't heal as much, which is definitely pretty good. And then not having to worry about the slow because you have the crippling is nice as well. We can always use the shiv if you have to. Um, we'll hop into a couple things and I'll show you in those. Go ahead, there's some room over there. Want to look at me? How are you? Love you. What's going on? Hey, what's wrong? Boys, we're in a battleground here. Uh, I think we're all topped up on the buffs. We'll see what kind of uh, damage we can or can't do. I uh, was playing on the Wrath server and my whole like UI got all messed up again. And I noticed, I think the texture is a little messed up too, but... Alright boys, well hopefully we can see a little bit what we're doing. We're in a, a blizzard right now, literally. And uh... Let's see, we're on the horde team, so hopefully we can get a win here and get the uh, battleground thing here. Let's uh, do the vanish. I don't think it's going to end too well for us. At least I'll, I'll hit them both with a little bleed so they just uh, take some damage while they're uh, capping. Yeah, so this this class is pretty cool. It's, it's really not as strong as I would like it to be. I don't know if there's something that I'm really lacking here or not. I even swapped out this. I've been using um, the where is it? The heirloom for the trinket, and I realized I'm a human. I don't really need that because sometimes I use this, but sometimes use the other one if I'm like feared or something, and I really need to get some damage or heal off. Um, so I was hoping that would be nice with the extra attack power and the PVP power, but didn't really notice a big difference. What I would like to do, if anybody has any builds or good recommendations, is a uh, like a stealth rogue. So like uh, assassination, popping in and out of stealth, um, being able to use vanish better, um, different shadow stuff too. That'd be pretty sweet. The only thing is, it's, it's so hard to try to tie all that together because you need a lot of abilities and talents and perks and stuff like that. But I guess we'll we'll go give that a shot if we can find some good res or something. I'll show you guys the res too in a, in a minute when we die. Yes, I'm just fucking clowning. Holy shit. All right, let's uh, check that out. Uh, so what we have, we always pretty much go with this because the extra energy is just awesome. Um, agility here, that's 3%. Bunch on the poisons. We have this here, physical and nature. Uh, if you didn't know, the poisons are nature, so basically you want to stack that as much as you can. Um, some extra rogue ability damage, some envenom damage, some energy regen, and then we have this nature damage increase for our just regular weapon and then we have this here i think this is mainly just for hydra's venom or maybe we just had it for left over but i think this also uses rage yeah i know this is pretty strong in the beginning of the game now we are level 60 at the moment Yeah, if we're not um, the target of everything, it's not too bad, because then we can kind of spread our disease to everybody, um, and it lasts a good amount of time, and if we Envenom, that's pretty good. And we did get the uh, talent that the Envenom doesn't use uh, the poison, I think. This is pretty good, too. Uh, that's our skill card there, but still some of it's a little bit uh, lackluster. Well, boys, that was uh, maybe like a minute and a half. Let's see. I don't even know if it tells you that time lapse five minutes, and we just got absolutely shredded, so we're going to hop into a... Uh, See if we get into a dungeon. 
and uh, play around a little bit, see how that does in uh, PvE instead of player versus player here. All right, boys, we got into the good old soul dance. Uh, this one kind of sucks sometimes because sometimes people just go straight for the boss and they just ignore everything and they ignore you. So if you're like getting stuck on these stupid gas clouds, you just get slapped. So we're just going to hang out in the back here and take out some of these guys. We'll run and hit everybody with a uh, one of those. And why don't we do their own poison? Bang, that's a huge. That might be just the uh, build itself right there. Just that one ability, that poisonous rain. Somebody's got uh, the jazz. Right, I guess we're just gonna hang out right here. Get yourself with a new, just in case. We're just gonna keep rolling the uh, middle eight and bending combo here. Yeah, so we're a little higher. Oh, we're probably gonna get got by these guys over here. Nope, okay. And with these guys while we're on the way back. Oh boy, it's nice. All right, we're hopping in Mana Storm as well. Uh, this is level 46 here. Me, I think those Let's see where do we have to go. Good do we have to go swimming? Yeah, you could probably get pretty far in uh, Mana Storm. The Mana Storm really isn't too hard. in this room. They're hitting me with the poisonous rain, boys. Holy shit. Oh, and we got an extra cash. It's me, bitch. Oh, I kicked him right as he was trying to sleep me. <laughs> nice. So I'm thinking, boys, this build, Seymour wasn't like it was too powerful, but because of all the nature damage and stuff we have, if we kind of just get everything up and use that poison rain down here, it's really not bad because that thing, that thing freaking smacks. Increase the damage of the instant poison up to four times. So actually, it might be a good uh, part of the rotation, especially if you have a lot of AOE to do. So we just get a bunch of people here. Hit that, hit that. Look at all that damage, boys. Holy shit. But then we just basically clean it all up. We could always uh, do the uh, bleed there, and that'll finish a lot of them, too. This little thing up here is messing me up. Watch out for that thing, boys. Call down the poison. Oh, I think they uh, interrupted me or something. I think we also have this little meteor thing here, too. Little pillar, kind of like a flame strike. We got lots of skill cards here. We got a uh, silence in the library. Oh, that's pretty cool. 
throws a book at somebody and it's a, a little stun, a little uh, spell kick. Uh, we got this Banshee's Whale. Okay, so that one's a stun. That's pretty sweet. Now we have just some random ones that we picked up. Right, boys, here we go, last boss. We got a Fenris trigger. Uh, I'm not sure which the last boss is though. a little bit strong there. Is this the uh, boss? No. <laughs> Where's the boss, boys? Maybe he turned into the boss? Odo the Blind Watcher. Maybe I went the wrong way? I don't know. Something's going on. How are we supposed to get that crystal up there? Oh yeah, jump all the way around. Maybe I could jump up on the tornado there. Alright, let's take this bitch out. Alright, she's dead. Huh, I'm not sure where the last boss is then. Maybe I missed it, so I'm gonna head back and see if we can find him. Boys, he's just been chilling right there the whole time. <laughs> That's this is right where I spawn too. Well, should be an easy fight. There we go. Easy peasy, boys. Sweet. Alright boys, we made it home. My cat's saying hi to everybody. This is Tarzan. Oh, he's hiding. Uh, anyways, that was uh, not too bad in the Mana Storm and a dungeon-wise. PvP definitely not uh, doing too good. I'm definitely outclassed in pretty much every factor. Healing, absorption, uh, damage definitely. Uh, and we really don't have too many CCs. We basically got Sprint, or Racial, and uh, Vanish once in a while maybe if it's uh, usable there. Um, other than that, it's a cool little, uh, cool little like idea but it didn't really work as well as i want it to be so i don't think the poisonous aspect is that strong at the moment there's probably definitely some synergies you can find with some other things so if there's anything that you guys can think of uh, definitely let me know or if you try this let me know if what you do different and uh i definitely want to try maybe just a pure rogue build that was like uh more so stealth that'd be pretty cool so don't forget to like and subscribe comment any of your suggestions and i'll catch you guys in the next video thanks for watching